the panels described in the accompanying text. So I'll just give a quick run through as things are happening of what we're what we're looking at as I do this. First is VCO1, VCO2 and VCO3 are similar. Toggle on the bottom is the source of the frequency modulation and the push button that I just hit there uh, is uh, exponential or linear. So now let's bring in oscillator 2. Try to tune it by ear. And have a little listen to frequency and resonance on the multi-mode VCF. This is again patterned after the SEM filter. So it's multi-mode, the little red button down at the bottom is for band pass. Switch at the bottom is the frequency modulation source. We'll just kick up the mod a bit, speed-wise. There's three different variations of waveforms on the mod, and the little button actually is for high and low frequency on the mod, so you can get a little bit of audio or FM, um, audio rate frequency modulation from the, the mod section. The mod section also includes noise and sample and hold, which I don't demo here. So let's bring in oscillator 3. Oscillator 3 is a little bit different than oscillator 1 and 2 because it has a, a low button, a little red button at the top. And that's to turn it into another low frequency oscillator. It also has a slightly different um, choice of waveforms. And that's uh, pulse width modulation, the one that I'm adjusting there. And again, this switch at the bottom is the source of the pulse width modulation. Oops. Tap the course frequency with my hand when I went by it. So that's just a manual pulse width adjustment there. So those five knobs, that's for the mixer that feeds the VCF. So we're going to bring all those back down, and now we're going to bring up the wave folder. The wave folder is dedicated and takes a separate feed from the VCO. Actually from VCO1. Folder can also draw its input from the ring modulator. So they were modulating the fold. And that little button, which we labeled hard, is a little crunchier fold. And remember, right now, the only thing we're hearing is the folder, nothing else. Everything else is silent. So that's a single waveform through the wave folder. So let's bring that down. We'll bring the VCO back up. And then we'll mix in some fold as well. So 
Then you hear the three VCOs plus the folder mixed together. We'll turn that up a little. A quick word on the envelope generators. They can be a three-stage or four-stage, so three-stage like the uh, like the Moog contour generators or the SEM envelope generator, just by pushing that little button they become four stage. You can see that these are both currently four stage. So now we're going to bring up the ring modulator and everything else is back down again. VCF mix, you can see they're all down. And I brought up on Outmix, the Outmixer, I just brought up the ring modulator. So let's fool around a bit with the ring modulator. So the ring modulator, as you can see from the VCOs, VCO2 is the Y, VCO3 is the X. Let's get that going a little bit more, uh, more crazy. So now we've turned off the ring mod, we're just hearing the VCOs again. Let's turn it back up. And get some, a little bit of crunch in there. Bring the folder in as well. So now we have ring mod, folder, and three VCOs. I guess I should have put some variation in the sequence. And now let's sort of randomly start turning knobs and see what happens. Oh, sorry, two VCOs. VCO2 is not in, just VCO1, VCO3, the ring modulator, and the folder. So now we'll just randomly turn some stuff and see what kind of sounds come out. Now we also have sync on VCO1 and VCO2, which does some interesting things depending on how you use it. I'll have to demo that at another time though. So let's tune those VCOs again. Sort of. 